Hey guys, and welcome to a creation. Our first one, I do believe. So, um, today we are creating Violet. Um, I can't remember her last name. I really can't. Oh my gosh, I literally just opened up the game and had her pose for a thumbnail. And I, I, I looked at it. What I don't, I don't know what her last name is. Forget it. But her name is Violet. I do know that. And she is a nerd. She's a cute little nerd, though. I really like her. I would play with her. Um, in my opinion, creative sims are kind of designed to help you create sims that are outside of your box. Or if you really don't like to play, like in cast and just want to play the game, then it's probably a lot easier for you to just go to the gallery and pull sims off and call it a day. That's kind of like me and building. I hate building. I'll build for um, a little bit if it's something that I really want to build. Um, I'm trying to get better at building, so sometimes I force myself to do it, but you know. Uh, but anyway, building. Just go to the gallery and pull out a house and call it a day. But, you know, um, yeah, so, and she is, I have every single stuff pack, game pack, expansion pack, so everything of that is used, and yes, um, I didn't want to make her, um, have a lot of makeup, I wanted it to be very natural, I think Sims look very weird without makeup, so I always put a little something on, even if it's, like, even my, uh, my Sims elf, has makeup on it. I don't wear makeup at all. Never. So. Let's see. She kind of reminds me of Velma from Scooby-Doo. So. Yeah. I mean, she's not wearing orange, but like her hairstyle and the glasses, like her face just reminds me. So. And here we are. We're doing her everyday outfit. I think we go with something from university we do. This is from university. Um, this dress reminds me of Zoe De Chanel in New Girl. Uh, what's her name in New Girl? Wow, I'm like really sucking today. <sighs> what's her name? Jess. How can I forget that? It's Jess. Who's that girl? It's just, um, but yeah, her everyday outfit reminds me of just from New Girl, so, so we need to know. But, uh, this is her formal wear. We completely change it, sort of. Not entirely change it, but it definitely gets somewhat scrapped later on. So, I decided I wanted to make her a little bit more of a fashionable nerd. This looks very basic, like very business uh, dressy, so, and I thought that her everyday outfit was nerdy, but it was fashionable, like, she had different collars on, and everything wasn't so matchy-matchy, it was a little, you know, out there, so, very pop, noticeable, standout, bright colors, so, I wanted to make her, sorry, I was yawning, I wanted to make her a little bit more fashionable, and then I always feel weird when I'm trying to pick a hairstyle, um, try to change up their hairstyles from day to day because, you know, you don't wear the same hair most of the time when you're going to go out and stuff. So I was trying to find a hair that was, oh, I'm sorry, it is early for me still. It's only 10, 13 p.m. Normally we're doing this at like one in the morning, but anyway, you're not going to wear like. If you have short hair, your hair isn't going to magically grow, like, two feet. Just to, you know, go to a party. Like, that's, no, that doesn't happen. So, I always like to try and keep it all the same length, or what would look like the same length. By the way, everything, I have an alien wear laptop. I got it for Christmas. My husband got it for me. And I absolutely love it. And everything looks so much better on it so much better. Everything, like, hairs that I didn't really particularly like before on my old laptop look, looks 
great on this Alienware. Like, I can't get over it. It's so good. But, see, oh my gosh, I am, I am so sorry. I cannot. But anyway, so we ended up going with another dress from Get Famous. I think it's adorable. I like how um, it's sleeveless, it has a little bow, and then we still kind of made it a little nerdy-ish by giving her a watch. I'm going to change her watch here. A little more feminine and less bulky. So, yes. I was going to give it for a party wear, but I feel like I was like, well, she should just like transform into a whole new person in a party wear. Like, be very, like, on point with her dress, um, or her outfit, and her hair. I'm yawning. I can't believe I'm, I'm yawned three times in the last two minutes. But, um, very on point, looks like a completely different person, you know, just like, wow, everybody. So we went with this cute pantsuit that's also from Get Famous, so I think it's adorable. I love it. I love the collar, I love the shoes that go with it. I forget where the shoes are from. Moschino stuff, I think. Yeah. I like the shoes. So, and then her swimwear. It's nothing fancy. I do like the sunscreen on her nose. I thought that was cute and a little nerdy. <laughs> and then, hot and cold weather. I kind of hate these. I wish there was just, like, an option for cold weather in The Sims. Like, in The Sims 3. Um, but... You know, it is what it is. Uh, cause like, and they don't ever live in their everyday outfits. They live in their hot weather outfits a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyway, uh, I fiddle with this forever. I'm trying to get. I wanted to make use of that and like give her like just like a basic shirt or. Oh, I am literally like gonna scream. My chair squeaking you. Of why it's like why I'm yawning. But anyway, I'm fiddling with this forever. I probably spent a solid like 20 minutes trying just to decide what this is. I wanted to make the flannel work and just give her a basic shirt, but I couldn't find anything that I liked and I felt was like, you know, nerdy or geeky or whatever. Not like this outfit's geeky, it's still really cute and um, I would wear it, but. I just, the plaid flannel thing and then the Bermuda shorts, I just thought, like, <laughs> I just thought it was just perfect. So, um, I go back and forth. Oh! My word, why? Why can't I stop? It has been four minutes, and I have yawned five times. I quit. I quit. Luckily, this is almost over. So, um, and then I also fiddle with her, uh, hot, or hot weather. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> her cold weather. I wanted to give her, like, a turtleneck sweater. Um, I don't know, like, in the movies, nerds, just, and then, like, side note, the elbow pads I thought were just spot on. So, um, but in the movies, you never see, like, Nerds aren't fashionable. They wear like plaid. They have glasses, turtlenecks, things that you know. Most people like, you know, most would show a little bit of skin. They wouldn't be covered like head to toe, and um, like her even her everyday outfit, the dress is like long. I don't know. I hope you guys know what I mean by that when I'm talking. <laughs> I think everything's cute that she's wearing, but um, yeah. So. Fiddling with hats. I wish we had more toboggans or um, beanies uh, in this game. I wish we could add scarves too because there's a sweater that I would use if we had a scarf because it's a v-neck and I just felt like it would be a lot cuter if we had like a scarf to add to it. I don't know. I just, I normally dress my sims the way, like, um, with things I would wear, and I don't wear a lot of, like, low-cut things. I am a t-shirt and shorts kind of girl, and then, like, if I have to get dressed up, I normally wear, like, a dress. I hate pants. Although, I do prefer pants over dresses and skirts, because then you have to sit like a lady, and 
I'm not about that either. So, um, I, I can't remember what I settled on. Oh, I know what I settled on. We go back to that original sweater I had. The neck. The turtleneck. So, with the elbow pads. Because I just, I was like, no, we're going to find something to make this work. Gosh darn it, it's too cute. And we do. We use that collar, and we use like a blue toboggan, that light purple one. That one, yes. Because I saw the hearts that were blue, and I'm like, we can do this. We can do this. So, um, yeah. And then boots. We have so many boots, and if only we had that kind of choice with sweaters or cold wear or I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyway, here we're picking her aspiration. She's in our brain. So and she's a bookworm, good and a genius, and her name is Violet. What did I choose her last name to be? Sharp. Oh yeah, play on words like sharp, like smart. Haha. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, she's up on the gallery. Um here is oh I forgot we were doing this. Uh we I just made her last night, so I don't know why I'm completely blanking. But this is a run through of all of her outfits, and she is up on the gallery, the spark. And yeah, you can go download her there, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.